Hey, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising, um, and those cross watching as well. Welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at why is it that they've ghosted you? Okay, so why did they go maybe from someone who was seemingly obsessed with you to suddenly just ghosting you, or you know having stopped all contact or communication with you? What's going on with them, and what is it that you might need to know here? Um, unfortunately, you know getting ghosted is a part of the dating game, the dating scene. So, um, you know, unfortunately, this is probably going to relate to a lot of people listening to this. Okay, guys. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention, if you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, this is going to be a general reading, right? So if you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my uh, email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's begin. Oh wow, the energies are a little bit all over the place here. Below you have the five, um, bottom of the deck you have the five of pentacles. And the five of pentacles, it's this cold air or this cold energy that you feel is being emitted from them. So they may not be communicating with you, they may not be very responsive or, or receptive, or even if you guys are communicating, it just feels very surface level, it feels out of, um, it just feels very different, it feels weird, they've been acting weird towards you lately, or, you know, if not that, then they've, st then they've just ghosted you. Um, unfortunately, it, it's possible that this person that you're dealing with and this person that came into the picture, he just wasn't ready for a relationship at this particular point in time here. It's also possible that, you know, in today's world here, you, you know, you could have, you have feelings for someone. And you're also overloaded with choice here and people around you. And sometimes because of all of, you know, because of that kind of energy, you, you aren't always in tune with what's really right for you. Okay, because there's a little, you know, there's, I feel like with your person, there's a blocked energy. And I feel like this is someone who's just stopped communicating or stopped responding or just suddenly disappeared and dissipated like into thin air here, vanished into thin air. The truth is, there's a more polite way to end a relationship. And that's with the real conversation. But not everyone has the courage to come forward and have that awkward conversation because they don't want to seem like the bad guy or they don't, you know, they don't have the courage to reject someone. Um, properly or even com the communication skills to emotionally express themselves okay that's the other thing you know and, and for some people especially I feel like guys struggle with this a lot um, for some people you know the reason why it is it has to do with communication it has to do with expressing their feelings okay and um admittedly they do ghost more often than not people ghost people that they're very interested with at the initial stage of the connection here i feel like you guys have had a decent attraction but i feel like it's perhaps one that's more based on physical attraction than anything else and for some of you maybe you got very intimate like early on in the connection like you might have hooked up with this person or they may have even stayed over at yours the night. I just feel like this person got what they wanted. And what they wanted wasn't something necessarily long term. It was, you know, they didn't necessarily want a relationship. You know, what they wanted maybe was a little bit of fun. But, and, and it's funny because it wasn't until the next morning or the next day that things started to go south here. I feel like maybe your person freaked out a little bit, is what I'm seeing. Because, um... I think for some of you, feelings came into play here, okay? And your person wasn't ready to deal with those feelings here. 
okay and instead of talking to you instead of having to you know explain to you what was really going on with them emotionally and you know because i feel like this person was never really interested in the relationship they were certainly attracted to you because there was such a lot um, strong sexual chemistry and energy to begin with but i think going into this i don't think your person and even though they may have told you otherwise i feel like they weren't necessarily speaking the truth or maybe they just didn't know what you know it was the truth in the first place because on some level they might have believed that yes they may have wanted a relationship or something a little bit more serious or stable with you but then they weren't emotionally available or they weren't ready for it um instead of you know just opening up and telling you what what's going on with them or where their heads at they've just decided to you know stop responding and bow out altogether uh, for some of you, the truth is they are in a relationship with someone else. And maybe you already know this. And if that's the case, I don't think your person was planning on leaving, you know, anyone else. They weren't planning on leaving this current partner in order to pursue something with you. Even though they may have told you that, but I feel like your person has maybe only told you what it is that you want to hear. So they may be in a relationship or in a connection with someone else, or they may still have feelings for an ex, okay? And again it feels like this person just got what it is that they wanted from you and then it, they suddenly went ghost mode here i'm also seeing that they your person struggles with communication here so they really just don't know how to articulate themselves okay just how to articulate what it is that they're going through because or just you know how to how to actually be vulnerable here because i feel like I'm seeing anxiety and frustration. Some someone had taken out the anxiety and frustration. Yeah. They have a fear of confrontation here. Okay, they have a fear of confront confrontation as well so not only are they in unable to um I, you know articulate and communicate themselves but there's also this fear of confrontation there's also a fear of long-term commitment here um there's also this fear of this person just wasn't they just didn't want to be honest with you about the fact that they didn't want a relationship or they didn't want to be attached or that they're still attached to you know someone else or even an ex here Okay, it feels like maybe you were more into them than they were into you here. Okay, I, I know it sounds a certain way, but it, it feels like this person wanted a challenge. And once they found out that you were really into them and that you were one, um, one smitten kitten here, This person decided to pull away here. It just feels like, yeah, instead of breaking it off with you, it just feels like this person, they want they wanted to avoid having that conversation so they didn't have to, you know, seem like a bad person because they didn't want to see you cry or get you emotionally upset here or they know that, and the thing is, I feel like this person knows that you've been hurt in the past, so I don't know why they went on to do this for you here. It also feels like they don't want to take responsibility here for their um, or acknowledge what you know what you feel here. There was chemistry. I do feel like your person did. There was a chemistry factor. I'm picking that up here, and you know that. The attraction and the chemistry could have probably even built even more you know over time here but i feel like this person felt like something else was missing i'm also seeing that they wanted options around that they wanted to keep their options open so they may have felt like something was missing with you here um or they felt like there was some they just couldn't quite put their they, they weren't necessarily fully convinced okay that they, they weren't necessarily 100 percent sure and they felt like something was missing um so they kind of just wanted to keep their options opened here okay keep their options opened see if there's greener pastures see if um you know if the grass is greener on the other side here they're not 
your person they could have also been going through some personal their own personal issues or their own personal endeavors okay it could have been have could have had something to do with the next the breakdown of a relationship or the breakdown of a connection or a job or, or something personal but because they didn't feel comfortable enough to open up to you um, they decided just to and they didn't want to unload that off on you as well they decided to just stop contact and stop communication altogether here I feel like your person is still keeping tabs on you from a distance I feel like they may be spying on you or even checking your stories because some of you are well aware of that but it just and that's the reason why they've ghosted because they haven't necessarily fully closed the door on you or on this connection so it's not like they slammed the door shut on this connection they've they saw themselves out but in the process they left the door slightly ajar that's that way if they ever do decide to come back and revisit things with you the doors you know slightly open for that I'm also seeing that this person may have ghosted you so that you could pursue someone else. Because some people are just monogamous daters who honestly just date, who only date one person at a time here. But your person feels like they were open to dating several people at a time and wanting to explore their options. So what's happened is maybe you wanted to become more serious than they and your person that ended up giving you the shaft here and decided you know decided to see themselves out okay the truth is communication and this individual just don't mix because I think had they been on honest about this and they had they let you down gently I feel like you would have had the closure that you need to move on from this person but I think it wasn't that simple I am seeing like a a bit of a negative energy a negative influence around this person and you know what you're probably if anyone takes an exit or a departure from your life you know don't chase them okay they're probably what they're doing is making room um, and space for someone new to come into your life someone who's emotionally mature and emotionally available okay and who won't mess around with your feelings here all right guys and these are your messages thanks as always for watching and listening please share support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye for now